Hello everyone, welcome back to another video from Somos Biology. This is going to be a series of mnemonic videos. I, I would recommend all of you to watch all the series of recorded these mnemonic videos because this is going to be very helpful for your revision of very important topics, particularly for information that you need to remember for long duration. You can do that with the help of these lectures. Starting with this cyclines and CDK partners. Many students reported me and asked me a question regarding this how to remember the cyclines and CDK partners and in which steps of the cell cycle this cyclin and CDK partners are interacting and they play important role. If that is something that you need to know and you always get confused from different resources, then this single one video of 5 minutes is going to clear all your doubt. And we will use mnemonic to understand. And there are three different aspects to it, three different sentences that we will use to remember the cyclines and their CDK partners and their role in the transition of different phases of cell cycle. First sentence that we need to understand is D for donkey. Okay, D for donkey. Instead of FOR4, we substitute it with 4, D4 donkey. Okay, remember a donkey. In your head, imagine a donkey. Then eat after breakfast. Okay, eat after breakfast. So, you are talking about a pill. It's a capsule that you need to eat after the breakfast. So, this is a breakfast and a pill that you need to take after the breakfast. Remember that. A donkey, a breakfast and 221B Baker Street, that is the address of famous detective Sherlock Holmes. So these are the three sentences that you need to know. D4 donkey, eat after breakfast and 221B Baker Street. And if you remember these three sentences, you will never forget the cycling and CDK partners. Right? How? Let me give you an idea. So we have D4, right? So we'll start with this cycling D. 4 donkey. 4 is the CDK. CDK partner is CDK4. So from the first sentence, we got cycling D and the CDK partner is CDK4. Next, uh, next uh, we'll move to this eat. You can see all the first letters of the first alphabet of the words are in capital letters. To explain, to tell you, these are more important. So E, A, B. Okay. So then we have cycling E. Then we have cycling A. Then we have cycling B. So we start with cycling D and we end with cycling B. We always end in cycling B. And this is the sequence that you need to remember in this order. So cycling D is number one, then cycling E, then cycling A and then last is cycling B. This order is very very important. There is a reason it is organized in that fashion. Eat after breakfast E, A, B. And D is already told earlier. Right. So now the partners. For the partners, you know the Sherlock Holmes address 221B. So you have a 2. We write CDK2. Another 2. So we write CDK2. And another 1. So we'll write CDK1. So for cycling and their CDK partners, this is going to give you the table quite easily. You have cycling D associated to CDK4, cycling E associated to CDK2, cycling A associated to CDK2, cycling B associated to CDK1. That's how we have cycling D, E, A, B and the CDK partner CDK4, CDK2, CDK2 and CDK1 respectively. And where they are placed basically, what is the part where they are placed in the process of cell cycle if you are going to understand. Then remember CDK4, this is G1 cycling, G1 S phase cycling. Cycling E is S phase cycling. Cycling A is S G2 phase cycling. And cycling B is the M phase cycling. Again the sequence, sequence of the cell cycle progression. If you know cell cycle progression is from G1 to S to G2 to M, these are the phases of cell cycle. You just put it G1, S, G2, M and you are going to get the cycling and CDK partners from these three sentences. D4 donkey, eat after breakfast and 221B Baker Street. That's it. That's how easy it is to understand and recall the name of all the cyclines and CDK partners. And also it is how easy it is to uh, understand the different phases of cell cycle where they work. I believe this video helps you out understanding uh, the list, uh, understanding uh, this concept and remembering and revising the topic 
very fast just before the exam these videos are going to be lifesaver just right before the exam revise with the help of this video and series of videos watch them in this channel and if you like the video please hit the like button share this video with your friends and colleagues subscribe to this channel to get more videos like that in future thank you bye